so I did that little one in the corner. And then I sat in my studio having a drink and looking at the two of them. And I said, oh shit. The room has just become too comfortable. It's all too easy. Time to move on. Funnily enough, at that time I had this paint that I couldn't figure out what the hell was going on with it. Because I put a color down and I put another color over top and I come back a half hour later, disappear. Couldn't figure. What was happening was it was seeking its own level and the paint was going down through the paint and the other paint was coming up over top. That was the beginning of the tartans using solvent and Mr. Acrylic. Now, Annie, we're going to go over and we're going to talk about the drawings. Yep, perfect. You want to be in front point for us? There's a visual phenomenon that takes place. You fall into the painting visually. And the reason you fall into the painting visually is because the top part of the painting is unfocused and the focus is below. It's, it's, it's a very interesting, uh, uh, it's the, 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 the Nickel owns the painting. It's very, it was exhibited in the Canadian Pavilion and Expo. Okay, onward, over here, this one. Okay, these are the drawings. When I went to Greece, now the, the acme of, of oriental brush drawing is when the brush defines the white of the paper. It's not the mark that's of interest. It's the mark defines the white of the paper. And this, uh, that's a very, very good drawing. And th with this one, it's the white of the paper that's being defined. Now I want to go over to that uh, one over there. No, 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 one, one past. I want to oh, turn me around here. Is that good? No, no, I want to get back. back. Yeah. Get back yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, now, Bloor told me about a 17th century sect of Zen priests who would use whisper thin paper and fast setting glue in their ink so that any hesitation the paper would rip and tear. So when you that's the other thing. There's 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 an intelligence that the mind has, there's an intelligence that the eye has, and there's an intelligence gathered in the arm and and with these drawings you <coughs> these drawings are very very good drawings there's also a technique where you take the brush and you load the brush full of vermilion paint and then put black in the tip of the paint in the brush and by these are all single stroke works so by holding the brush lightly you get black full you get red and in between you get brown 
Not bad. Very tricky. That's a bloody fine. These these are all really good. These these are all really good examples of that. And I I I, I must tell you. When I made these, the studio was too cold for me to work in in Greece. So I closed down the studio. I just worked in the hall. And I had 12 inch by four by four inch blocks of wood, four of them, which I put the legs of the table on. And then put the drawing on a drawing board on top, again, up on blocks. And then I would stand over, so it was just the right height, and, and wait, wait for the full brush to compel me to move. And it's, it's, it, 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 it literally, it's like that. It's like that. They, 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 these are... Uh, these, 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 these are the results. I used up, I used up all the paper in our village and had to make the run uh, to the uh, to the capital city, Medellini, to get more paper in the winter time. I wanted to. This was my year. This was my year, and it was uh, uh, it was given to me. And 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 I wasn't about to waste a minute of it. Blur went to Egypt when it, when it got too cold. I I couldn't uh, I I couldn't afford to go to Egypt, and I didn't want to go to Egypt. I, this is this is my year to find out whether I could make it. And of course, I I found I could. The, the screw drawing the, the, that's kind of interesting over here too. These are. Uh, uh, I just come in the studio and dip a dip a screwdriver uh, in a pot of paint and diddle around, and then with a spatula move it aside and diddle a bit more. So it's uh, play is the work of the artist. And there are all these uh, now. Indeterminacy. Indeterminacy. Oh yes, we've got to go to indeterminacy. Yep. And then I will answer whatever question you want. Okay, beautiful. Thank you. Are, are we gathered? We're uh, Okay. I was doing a lot of experiments with uh, uh, following the lead of some of the great European masters such as John Arp and, and, and those guys. And uh, one, one of my more interesting experiments was uh, first of all just splattering paper with water and then dipping a marble in ink and holding the paper, rolling it back and forth. Then letting that dry and then imposing order on that. Most, uh, 